The Score, sponsored by Carpetland USA and Menards. Welcome to week two of The Score. Mother Nature causing some trouble for the first time in 2022. That's okay though. A few less games gives us more time to introduce the newest member of our WQAD sports team. We are definitely excited and thrilled to welcome Camille Gear to the Quad Cities and First week, first score, nervous, excited. What are you feeling? I think more excited than nervous, but a, you know, a little nerves, right? Sure, is normal, sure, but yeah, absolutely. really excited. Glad you guys uh, decided to take me in. Yeah, of course. And uh, um, the first night, and it's like this. Of course. Like, do you right? want to move back? Right. No, you're exactly. From, you're not used to this. Why didn't I pick a warmer time right. of year? Because the, but... the people. That's why you're here and <laughs> yeah. you'll find out the yeah, people. Yeah, sure. We can go with that. <laughs> not the weather. It's all about people. A lot of great basketball action tonight. Despite Mother Nature, we're going to start in the Western Big Six. We're going to go up to Sterling. 5 and 1 Rock Island. Looking good in the Western Big Six. Taking on Sterling. Second quarter tied to 18. Kyle Billings. Gets the buckets in the lane. It's the Golden Warriors with a two-point lead. Rocky answers right back. Amarian Nimmers with a nice move here on the baseline. Gets the pretty reverse lane to go. Rock Island grabs a two-point lead. Next trip down, it's Nimmers again in transition. Pretty move to the rim. It's a four-point Rock Island lead. Nimmers on fire in the second quarter. Again in transition, another great finish at the rack. It's a six point Rock Island lead. Sterling though would fire back once again. Lucas Austin sights, shoots, bullseye. Sterling back to within just three, but Nimmer's just too much when he wasn't scoring it. He was sharing it. Check out the Ooh, behind the great. back pass to Baker Beal for the two handed flush. A seven point lead for Rock Island at that point. Rocks moved to 6-1 in conference play with a 57-47 victory. Everyone chasing 6-0 Quincy in the Western Big Six. Checking down at Galesburg, who's 4-2. Opening possession, it's Easton Steck hitting the corner three. Galesburg up by three. Quincy would answer. Bradley Longcore to Jeremiah Talton. His bucket splashes in. That'll tie things up at five. Later in the first, Galesburg. Nice ball movement. Alex Egyptiaco to Cohen Derry for the corner three. Silver Streaks back up by three. We jump to the second quarter. Quincy up by one. Galesburg's Jeremiah Babers to Derry. He'll drive in and lay it off the window. Galesburg back in front by one. Seconds left in the half. Babers hits Woo. a long three, beating the buzzer. Galesburg up by two at that point, but checking the final score. Quincy comes back to win this one. They're still undefeated in the conference, 55-53. To Don Morris, Jim, we go. Camille, this is Corey's alma mater, Moline. My alma mater, Alamingo, going head to head. Good luck. The old pioneers looking good. Ethan Gorlett to Ryan Schmidt for the bucket and the bump. It's just a two point lead for Moline early on. Then later on, it is Lincoln Dorsey pulling, stepping back, I should say, getting the friendly roll at home. He had 15 lead all scorers. Moline only up by one, but the Maroons come firing right back. Kyle Taylor off the great ball movement. Quarter three, it's 16 8. Cops alma mater with the lead. Then it's Brock Harding. Special young man, special player, knocking down the three right here. 19-8 Moline in front. Harding can do it all again, this time sharing as he finds Grant Welch, who I've said it all year long, the best shooter in his family. Gets it from his mom, Megan. Not this old man, he's not, not that good tough. The lead continues <laughs> to I grow. And check out this one. Harding to Rob Pulliam for the alley-oop slam. Moline nearly gets 100 cuff. 99-49, your final from Don Morris Gym. We'll head to the Panther Den, United Township, looking for their second straight conference victory this week. First quarter on this one, Geneseo looking good. Bristol Lewis and score, knocks down the baseline jumper. Leafs with a two-point lead. Then it's UT in transition. Malachi Johnson going right to the rim, laying it up and in. 5-2 Panthers early on. Geneseo answering back on the break. It's Lewis once again going right to the rim. Loses it, gets it back, tosses it up and in. It's just a one-point UT lead, but Panthers catch fire after that. Caden Terrell grabs the offensive rebound, tosses it back up and in. The UT lead up to three. Panthers catch fire from behind the arc after that. It's Devontae Wright after some great ball movement, knocking down the three. Then later on, it's Cameron Lewis getting free in the corner. He knocks down three more. 13-6 at that point. We'll check out a final. UT looking really good on this night. 78-37, your final score. Coach Ray Sharp got his 300th victory earlier this week and before the game. Gets a little present. Is that for candy? Reaching 300. I don't know if it is. You better share. That's for <laughs> sure. Uh, Newman looking good early on as this bucket falls in by Lucas Simpson as they're up 4 to nothing. Simpson again with the hot hand in the paint off the glass. 
And it's six to nothing. Princeton, pretty athletic themselves. Caden Monroe inside in the post to cut it to a four point game. And then Marcus Williams, the kid's a pretty good basketball player. He'll knock down that three pointer to make it a 9 2 game. Princeton Monroe again under the hoop. You get the big man, you feed him when he's open. Nice little spin to drop that one in. More from Princeton. Tegan Davis on the break. Takes the contact, gets the bucket. 9-8 at that point, checking the final score. This one goes to Princeton, 68-62. The further east you got, the better the weather got, or I guess the less worse it was, if that makes any sense. You say so. St. Bede wins by 15. Kiwani wins on the road at Hall by five. More scores from the LTC now. It is Ridgewood all over Galva. Weathersfield falls short at Stark County. And one last check of the scoreboards has Knoxville winning on the road at Princeville. Fulton makes the trip up to Polo. They're one of the best teams in the state. They show why with a 59-22 victory. We go to Geneseo and check in on a battle of state ranked teams at the Armory as it is Geneseo, ranked number one in the state, going head to head with the Brimfield, with Brimfield ranked number one in 2A. Later Cammy on, Cami Lugwood with that one. The three from the top of the key for Brimfield as they tried to keep things close, but this one all about Cami Ludwig knocking down that three right there. She's going to play at Providence next year. Now it is a nice play inside as I believe that was Ludwig for two more. Yes. Easy to call plays when it's the same girl. Brimfield would try to stay close. They cut into the deficit right there, but the Maple Leafs continue to roll. Allie Raps runs the break, finds Danielle Beach for the layup right here. It's a 23-7 lead for Geneseo. Then Ludwig on fire. Three more to add to her total. How good is it going for Geneseo? Beating the buzzer, buzzer ahead to Ludwig. She had, I should say Geneseo scored 28 in the first quarter. Brimfield keeps grinding. The lob inside to Kylie Vaughn for the bucket right here. Later, it's Ludwig again. The laser to any worth as the lead grows to 21. And it's almost like Kami Ludwig is Geneseo's all-time leading scorer or something. Well, oh, now she actually is. This three does it. She now has 1,591 points in her career. 34 of them came tonight. Geneseo, 20 and 0 on the season. They knock off fellow number one Brimfield, 69 to 55, your final score. Let's go to the other matchup at the Armory. It's Kiwani's Emily Eggeman dishing it to Marissa Stevens for two, a 27 to 13 lead over Orion. Later in the third quarter, though, Chargers finding a spark in this one as Thea Brown hits this one from way downtown. That one is money, but Kiwani can dial in from long distance. Kira McLean Garcia drills the triple to keep the Boilers in control but they will finish the deal. Laney Kelly will kick this one out over to Eggman right here for the three. Kiwani taking this one 39 to 28. All right, let's go over to the Iowa side of the river. 7-3 Bettendorf at Devonport North. Second quarter, Bulldogs in front 16-13. Journey Houston brings it up down the lane. The hoop and the harm. Tie things up at 16. North still running the floor. Houston, nice find. Divine Burridge, the lay-in, 20-16 Wildcats. North will go on a 13-0 run as Houston gets the steal. She'll take it coast to coast, 29-16. Houston with 22-12. Bettendorf not going away. Izzy Apple from the corner. That'll cut it to a 10-point game. But the Wildcats were just too much. Kyra Taylor, the pick and roll. She gets the layup, 33-23 at the half. This one would go the way of the Wildcats. They win 57-45. And Davenport West coming off their first MAC win. Their reward, a visit from 8-2. North Scott, Scott, excuse me. We start this one in the first. Lancers, first try no good, but Lauren go going horse gets the board, finds her way, and puts it back in. They're up by two at this point. Falcons, though, down by seven now. Hannah Mitchell would change that. She's money from almost three-point range but the bucket would cut the deficit back to five. Going the other way, another triple ball, no good for North Scott, but this time it's Sydney Scare Rich, the cleanup, and Lancers will make it an 11 point game. Let's skip now to the second quarter. North Scott now up by 28. They're rolling in this one. Going horse a beast down low tonight. She will add on two more, and North Scott runs away with this one 76 to 22. 
We've reached halftime here on the score. Still ahead, a huge Big Ten showdown down in Champaign. Did you say Cami at 1591? Yeah. It's 1591 more than I ever said. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and the head hawk gets a big extension and a raise that is well deserved. Details straight ahead right here on the score. Hi, this is Jason Randall, and when I'm back home, I check out the score on WQAD.